In the following video, we will see how a DESMI service engineer overhauls the DESMI NSL centrifugal pump type spacer with heavy bearing bracket. For the overhaul, we use a genuine DESMI spare parts kit. The technician will go through the overhaul step by step by disassembling the pump, replacing all gaskets, sealing units and bearings and complete the overhaul by reassembling the pump. When making a service and overhaul on a DESMI pump, we recommend that you study the manual before starting. Manual and spare parts kits can be found at www.desmi.com slash aftersales. Make sure you have the necessary tools and spare parts kit at hand. All the needed parts are included in the spare parts kit and on the rear side, an item list for all parts is shown. A list of the pumps which are covered by the spare parts kit is also included. On the rear side, a QR code is shown. When scanning the code, enter the www.desmi.com slash aftersale section where manuals, overhaul videos, spare part kits, etc. are publicized. Using DESMI Genuine Spare Parts Kit makes it easy, convenient and trouble-free for you to overhaul your DESMI pumps. Initially, the pump has to be dismantled. Remove the guards. Dismantle the copper pipe. Remove the Allen screws. And remove the spacer. Remove the screws that keep the shaft seal cover to the pump casing. The shaft seal cover can now be lifted up. Remove the nut and washer. And pull off the impeller. Remove the spring and sunk key. Remove the rotating part of the mechanical shaft seal. Loosen the pointed screw and pull off the coupling part. Remove the Allen screw that holds the bearing cover to the shaft cover part. Pull the shaft seal cover and bearing cover apart. 
pull off the bearing cover. Pull off the bearing. Remove the ring lock and pull off the second bearing. Clean the pump shaft with degreaser. Check the shaft for damages. Insert support disc and use an induction heater or the like to heat up the bearing to 100 to 110 degrees centigrade. Insert the bearing and press up against the support disc and fit the ring lock. Lubricate the bearing with lithium containing grease, Li62 for instance, or similar. If the temperature of the pumped liquid is above 80 degrees centigrade, high temperature grease is recommended. Heat up the second bearing to 100 to 110 degrees centigrade and lead the bearing against the shoulder. Push out the stationary part of the mechanical seal and water deflector. Clean the shaft seal cover and check the seat for flatness and cracks. It's important to ensure that all parts are properly cleaned. Assemble the bearing cover and shaft. Assemble the bearing cover and shaft seal cover. Lubricate the shaft end and insert sunk key. Mount the coupling part. Place the conical bush on the shaft to prevent the rubber bellows from being damaged during mounting. Lubricate the water deflector with soap or soapy water and push it onto the shaft. Push until it touches the cover and then a further one to one and a half millimeters. Unpack the mechanical seal and clean the sliding surface with alcohol. Be careful not to touch it after cleaning. Lubricate the outer rubber ring with soap or soapy water. Now press the seat into place and check that all parts are correctly embedded.
Lubricate the inner surface of the slide ring rubber bellows with soap or soapy water and push it over the shaft. Remove the conical bush. Lubricate the shaft end. Fit the sunk key in the shaft. Place the spring. Lead the impeller towards the shoulder of the shaft. Take care that the ring at the end of the shaft seal spring is located in the recess of the impeller. Lubricate the O-ring groove with a little grease. However, check the material of the O-ring first. As standard, the material is nitrile, but it might be EPDM, which will be damaged by mineral grease. Use soft soap or silicone grease for EPDM. Assemble the impeller unit and the pump casing. Fit and fasten the copper pipe. Lubricate the bearings. Fit and fasten the spacer coupling. Finally, mount the guards and the overhaul is now complete.